Cell phones are getting ridiculous. They're like mini computers. And it seems like each day they're coming out with a bigger and better one. But seriously, who can afford to constantly upgrade? Well, instead of always trying to reach for the next best thing, why don't we just take what we have and make it better? So what we're gonna do is take an older Windows Mobile cell phone and not only upgrade it to the Google Android operating system, but also make it so that you can dual boot between the two. So here's what you're gonna need to do this project. You'll need a phone that's compatible with Android, and the best way to find that out is to use Google by typing in your mobile phone and then adding Android after it. Then see if anyone has successfully installed or ported Android on that device. You can find a list of popular phones in the video description. I'm going to be using an HTC XV6900 or Vogue, so if that's what you're using then congrats, you're one step closer to being me. For the HTC Touch, the magic starts by going to the Android HTC website, which you can find here. You'll find downloads and installation instructions on this site, but I've created a zip file with everything that you need, which you can download from this link. It'll run Android Eclair. Assuming you already have a micro SD card with nothing important on it, unzip the Eclair files to it. This should create a folder called and boot on the root of the micro SD card. Once all the files have been copied to the card, put it back in your phone. On the phone, click on Start, File Explorer, and navigate to the and boot folder on your SD card. Select and run Herit.exe, then click Run. You should now see Linux begin to load, and while it's loading, press and hold the D-pad button on the phone until you see this menu. Choose OK, Install, Yes, and Yes and this will install Android on your SD card and it won't overwrite any of your current phone settings. After a while you will come back to the menu then choose quit and wait for Android to load. The touch screen should work as normal. The D key along with the arrow keys and the volume key will function the same. The call key will access your call information and your phone information. The camera key if you hit it once will take you back a screen. If you hold it down, it takes you to the camera functionalities of the phone. The end call key will turn off the screen, and if you hold it down, it will turn off the phone itself. The power button at the top will awake the screen, and it will also access the settings menus. Now if you were to reboot your phone, you would boot back into the regular Windows interface. And to get Android back, you'd have to go in and run Herit.exe again. But using a program called Gen.Y Dual Boot, you can choose which operating system to boot into, and here's how to install it. The program itself can be found at this website, and all versions of it can be found here. But if you're using an HTC Vogue like I am, then I've already included it in the zip file that you downloaded earlier. To install it, reboot your phone into Windows and go to Start, File Explorer, and in the And Boot folder, you should be able to run Gen.Y Dual Boot. And make sure that you install it to the device or else it won't work. Then run Android Boot Fix and lastly change the name of the default text file to Startup. Now whenever you restart your phone, you should see a boot screen like this and you can choose which operating system to use. If you don't see the boot screen, you can still bring it up manually by going to Start, Programs, and selecting Gen.Y Dual Boot. Now you can see what Android's all about without having to buy a new phone, and without even having to change your phone's current settings. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.